How you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screens Using Smart Technology Gain. Alright, so today I built a really easy projector screen. Just something really simple. I'm going to have tutorial videos on the website showing you how easy it is to use our blackout cloth. Now, our blackout cloth does not require a lot of stretching and pulling as you would have to go through with the four-way stretch uh, blackout cloth. We have used it before. And for some reason, it does do well with our chemical, but there's other applications we want our screens to be used for. All right, so in this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the 4K black uh, blackout cloth, and I'm gonna show you what I just did over here real quick uh, with a stapler gun, that's all I need it, and a pair of scissors, which are over here, right there. So stapler gun and a pair of scissors. I cut out my uh, blackout cloth. Now remember uh, when you do this, hold on for a minute, let me go over here and grab this. You want to make sure when you trim it, you want to trim the, you want to take, you want to trim all around the edges and take these off, okay? So you want to remove this. Now if you use an attention screen, you know you're going to need this, but if you're going to staple or glue, you want to remove these so this lays flat completely against the wall and it's easy to fold your screen, all right? So let me go over here real quick and I'll show you the screen right here. So this is just a fast job, it's a fast job. Um, so I ran my staples across here, all right? And down here and over here, right? Just a regular piece of wood and just uh, fold the edges and just uh, hit it with the stapler. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do when you get done, this right here is your bracket. So you're gonna actually screw this into here, right there. And that's going to allow you to be to hang your screen. And then what's going to come with your kit next is these little tiny tables. I call them tables right here. And what you do is, we're going to get some shorter ones than this. We're going to get some smaller ones than this. You press this or hammer this into the wood right about here. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow your screen to lift up just a little bit from the wall. From the wall. So when you install your neon lights, See, so this is what you want to do. You put your tables here. Sorry about that. You put them here and you put them here. Like you put them all around here, right? And then in between right here, around right along the side of it, you put your um, neon lights. And what's going to happen is the neon lights are going to face out this way. So what's going to happen is when, the, uh, when you hang your uh, screen against the wall, the light is going to reflect off the wall and it's going to actually push outward. And that's how you get the floating effect on your screen. That's how I have it behind me. All right, so really easy to do. Uh, if, you, if you can't build a frame, these screens can be designed several different ways. You can actually staple this to a piece of, uh, of uh, plywood or we use cardboard and other things. And over here we have, um, I call it plastic cardboard. It works just as well too. You can take it outside because it's basically weatherproof if you're not gonna use it with a tension screen. So we're gonna flip this around real quick. Spin around. Ugh, sorry, I am doing this with one hand, people. There we go. Screen that right against the. There we go. There we go. For this, that's pretty nice. So there's my screen right there, uh, leaning against the wall right there. And as I told you before, that the material smooths out. It does. You don't have to worry about having all the wrinkles in it like you saw before in the demonstration. That's due to the fact that how I was storing the screen, which wasn't really, I should have had it uh, uh, stored somewhere um, a little neater than what I had it before, but I just had it crumpled up in a corner and that's what caused the screen uh, to, um, to get all uh, out of shape. So you can see the screen is really, really smooth and it doesn't take a lot of pooling to get the screen to stretch. So we're gonna come over here real quick. And this is the material that's cut. So this is where I cut it right here. And this is where I cut out this part because I didn't need it. The screen's very easy to cut, very flexible. And so you can fold it up, ball it up. You don't have to worry about these screens cracking or peeling on you. They're absolutely fantastic and they're easy to cut. So this right here will smooth itself out when it's when I um, when I fold it up. So to just just go back to normal to the way it was. I was just showing the material up front. All right, so over here, we have the silver. This is the silver screen. Now, just to let you know, if you guys are huge 3D buffs, the silver screens are excellent for 3D, all right? 
The silver and the dark silver can be used with projectors of a low as 300 lumens. When it comes to the uh, 4K black screens, they require a projector of 25 to 2600 lumens. Now, you can use 2000 lumens. I've done it in video demonstrations before, but that's just the requirements that we, we ask you to use, okay? Now, we're gonna go over here real quick to the screen. I have the NEC uh, 595 projector uh, hooked up, and one of the things I like about our screens is the fact that you do not have to have an expensive projector. You can view this screen on an angle. You don't have to have different color walls because they're saying if the walls are white, they will basically affect the screen. The screens are using something called smart technology gain, which allows them to absorb tons of light even when, when the screen is actually faced with an environment that is gonna be using extreme lighting. So you don't have to worry about your screen washing out or becoming faded. All right, just to let you go know, all three screens can be used with short throw projectors. I know a lot of you guys, if you bought these high-end projector screens, costing you anywhere from a uh, thousand, two thousand, even five thousand dollars for just a hundred inch screen, just to add a hundred inch screen, 16 by 10 wide screen only costs you four hundred and sixty eight dollars. Now, with a lot of these high end screens they have on the market, some can't be used on an angle. Some of them have issues if you use them in rooms that are generating way too much light. Some can't be used with sure throw. And a lot of these screens, or actually take you all of these screens on the market, will charge you extra for gain. So the higher the gain, the more you will pay. The color of the screen. And also too, when you consider the fact that you're gonna pay for the ratio size, which means the width of the screen, basically if it's gonna be in uh, 16.9 or 16.10 or 235.1, you will pay extra for that. Okay, but with our screens, the only thing you pay for is the size of the blackout cloth. Now I advise some people that if you're gonna cut these screens, buy it a little bit larger. So basically, you, if you do make a mistake, you don't have to worry about losing out on your product. All right, so. Or your screen so let me go over here real quick and remove this and one of the things I want to add real quick before I start this demonstration the amazing thing about our blackout cloth um, above anything else on the market we have the first high-tech blackout cloth on the market that will give you the ability to have an, an outstanding picture quality even if you're using a low-end projector even if you're in a fully lit environment your screen is going to look absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so let me go over here real quick because I remember I moved the screen over to accommodate to show you guys the back of it. Really quick, there we go. And just to let you know real quick, these screens are completely borderless, so they do not require a border. Okay. Here we go. Mind you, this is a jet black screen. We're about probably seven feet from the screen, and we're using a 2000 lumen projector, fully lit environment. Now, I'm gonna come over here on an angle. Tell me what you see. The screen looks absolutely amazing on an angle. Fall back here and nail my uh, all 
Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screens using Smart Technology Games. These screens are available for pre-order and they are selling out. I know I've been saying that quite a few times, but we had to restock a few times because the screens are literally selling out that fast. All right, I'd like to thank you guys. I think, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, I'm really tired, long day. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. Thank you.